Photoshop has some very powerful ways of selecting complex objects like this model with flyaway hair. You're already familiar with quick selection and magic wands. Photoshop has a new tool now called Object Selection Tool, which lets me either use the lasso or rectangular selection uh, marquee to draw a selection around something I would like to select. And then it uses its artificial intelligence to try and select that. But it's not perfect. So if I were to go into Select and Mask, you can see that there's still a lot of work that I need to do to get rid of all the white background that's still in her hair. And even though this powerful refined selection uh, brush does a great job, Photoshop has even more powerful ways of doing that, although they're older ways. So let's show you how to do that using an alpha channel. So if I click on the channels palette here, if you're not seeing it, go into the Windows menu and make sure that channels is selected or checked. And you'll see that this RGB image is made up of red, green, and blue channels. The red channel, for example, is white where it's most, where mostly red is being used. So you'll notice that her face has a lot of red in it. Her hair doesn't quite have so much, so it's darker. The green channel shows how the, the various levels of green that are in the image, dark being very little green and lighter being more green. You'll notice that she has more red in her face than she does green. And then the blue channel and her face has even less blue than, uh, than any of the other channels. And all three of these channels combine together to show color. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we want to do is we want to find the channel that will give us the most contrast because we're going to make a mask and mask her out of her background and put her into a different background. Blue has the most contrast here. So I'm just going to right mouse button click and duplicate the channel. I'll call it model and click OK. So now I have created a mask because that's what an alpha channel is, is just a mask. <clears throat> to mask her out, we need her to be totally white and the background to be totally black. But I think for right now it'll be easier to make her black and leave the background white. And so one of the things that we can do is uh, help this along. I'm going to grab a lasso tool and I'm just going to select all of her face and hair that's not showing any of the white background showing through. And I'm going to hold down my Option or Alt key on a PC and come in here and just subtract a couple of little spaces that were further in. And I think I've got most of them. And I'm going to come into the Edit menu and Fill. And fill it with black. All right. Another thing I can do is to use a command in the image menu called apply image right here. And what apply image does is it lets you use one of the blending modes to combine the image with itself. So, for example, if I did screen, it would lighten it up. Overlay would increase the contrast. Multiply is 
going to darken it up a little bit. Now I'm going to zoom in before doing this because I want to make an important point here. I'm going to go Command Plus a few times and then just come around to the edge. So what I'm trying to do is to make these fine hairs dark, but not increase their size or lose them. And so when I come into Image and apply Image, and if I turn the preview off and on, is it thickening up the hair? Yeah, just a little bit, but I think I can live with that. All right. And I'll click OK. All right. So, zooming back out, Command-0 or Control-0, I can do a command L or control L and do a levels command. I can bring the background up. Again, I'm looking at those edges of the hair, trying not to change their size much. I can, I can deal with a little bit, but not a whole lot. Then what we'll do is we will go into the image menu and adjustments and do invert command i on a mac control i on a on a pc all right so we have made we have made a mask and we can continue working on the mask i can grab my paintbrush i can put it into overlay mode and i can Switch over to white paint, for example. I'll make my brush just a, just a bit bigger here. And where I can see curls, I can paint along the edge here. You'll notice if I paint on the black, it doesn't do anything in overlay mode. But it does work on, on the whites without too much contrast. Again, I'm trying to leave the fine hairs on the edges alone and just do some basic touch up here. And I think I have it. So what I'm going to do now is hold my command or control key down and click on the thumbnail of my alpha channel, my mask. Come up here to RGB turn it back into a color image, click on layers, and add a mask. Then I'm going to add a new layer. If I hold my command or control key down and click on the new layer icon, that will create a new layer underneath instead of on top. And then I can fill that with a, a different color, such as <clears throat> excuse me, such as black or white or some other color and, and see how I did. All right. So it does look like I have some fringing happening here, but it's not nearly as bad as what I was getting with select and mask. But I think I will still use Select and Mask. So I'm going to click on my mask, choose a selection tool, and go into Select and Mask mode. And here I can come down to the output settings. You may need to click on this Reveal Triangle to show it. And I'll click on Decontaminate Colors. And I can adjust this slider. Now, one of the views that I have here is on the layer. And so for this, this would be the best thing to use. 
here's my decontaminate colors. I can set the amount right here. And I can also shift the edge a little bit if I, if I wish until I get it looking just right on that background. And I'll click OK. When I clicked OK, I chose New Layer with Layer Mask. All right, so that gave me a brand new layer with a new layer mask. And I still see just a little fringing there. One of the, here's a trick that you can do with dark hair. I'm going to get rid of the mask on this layer. And I'll turn this layer back on. But I know that if I use the multiply mode, whoops, I did that on the wrong layer, sorry. If I do this on the multiply mode, then that makes her hair stand out darkly against the background. So now I can come onto this mask. I can grab black paint and my paintbrush and just go over hair that's right here on the edge. like I'm in overlay mode I'm going to switch into into normal mode and just get these very fine hairs on the edge where I have just a touch going on there we go